Let me know if you see what I see here. As I've been saying for some time now, the mask is nothing more than a way to cultivate the mindset of the people to accept the mark of the beast worldwide. And for those that want all the prophecies along with every single symbol defined in the prophecy about the mark, including what it means when it says right hand and forehead, see my Mark of the Beast page wherein I have an in-depth study as well as quite a few videos on this. But check this out. The people are moved to wear the mask in two ways. Number one, people wear it because they agree in their minds that it actually works, even though science says otherwise. Number two, people that know it's all a lie wear it because they can't buy groceries in some stores without it, or in some cases, they wear it to keep their jobs. But now check out the Mark of the Beast. According to prophecy, it too offers the people two ways to accept it. Number one, people receive the mark in the forehead because they agree in their minds that Sunday is the Sabbath, even though the Bible says otherwise. And number two, people that know what the Bible says but have fear and no faith are forced to receive the mark in the hand so as to buy and sell or even escape the guillotine. The mask is not the mark. Let me be perfectly clear on that. It's not the mark. It is, however, the means by which the governments that are in bed with the man of sin in Rome can cultivate the global mindset to receive the mark when it is finally enforced by law. Wearing the mask now is not a sin. They are just trying to wear the people down to get them used to doing as they say so that later on when they do enforce the mark, the people can be easily moved to obey them. And so... Stay in your Bibles, stay on your knees, and stand firm in Christ. Thank you for watching. God bless.